students this is a class for 8th standard science subject in physics about the lesson is a force and pressure okay in last class we have learned about the concept of increasing pressure and also the concept of atmospheric pressure okay so to continue that lesson now we are going to learn about the remaining part of the atmospheric pressure okay so the atmospheric pressure is shortly defined as uh, one atmospheric pressure is shortly defined as 1 atm which refers to the atmospheric pressure okay so the one atmospheric pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by the mercury column of height because um, the device which is used to measure the uh, pressure is called barometer okay inside the barometer which liquid is present okay which liquid that liquid is called mercury okay so the atmospheric pressure is defined as pressure exerted by the mercury column of height that is 76 cm in the barometer okay so which is the value um, in terms of value uh, this is equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power of 5 newton meter power minus 2 because um, the si unit of atmospheric pressure is newton meter power minus 2 okay so uh, we have to round it off the value means we get 1 into 10 to the power of 5 newton meter power minus 2 okay so one atmospheric pressure is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of 5 newton meter power minus 2 okay in the si system one atmospheric pressure is equal to 1 lakh pascal uh, 1 lakh pascal okay so it is given by approximate one okay so next one is si unit of atmospheric pressure is what newton meter power minus 2 or pascal okay so the next one is what means forces in liquid okay so in the case of your liquid the forces is what okay so the buoyant force of your liquid okay so, so the first one is the buoyant force of your liquid uh, buoyant force means an upward force is exerted by the by the water on your floating surface or your partly submerged body okay partly means halfly okay paadi amount submerged means adrena பண்ணிருக்கது டிப் பண்ணிருக்குது மூழ்கிறதுன்னு சொல்லுவாள அந்த மாதிரி ஓகே சோ ஆன் அப்வர்ட் ஃபோர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் எக்ஸர்ட்டட் பை வாட்டர் ஆன் யுவர் ஃப்ளோட்டிங் ப்ராசஸஸ் ஆர் யுவர் பார்ட்லி சப்மெர்ஜ்டு பாடி ஹியர் தி பாடி விச் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு ஏ எனி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஆர் மெட்டீரியல் ஓகே சோ திஸ் அப்வர்ட் ஃபோர்ஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் ஓகே சோ எதனாச்ச ஒரு பாடி ஓகே எனி பாடி ஆர் மெட்டீரியல் விச் இஸ் சப்மெர்ஜ்டு இன் யுவர் வாட்டர் மீன்ஸ் தி வாட்டர் இஸ் புஷ்ட் அவுட் फ्रॉम தி கண்டெய்னர் ஆர் வெசல் ஓகே சோ அட் தட் டைம்ஸ் இட் இட் produce here some force okay so that force is referred to as a upward force okay so this upward force is otherwise recalled as the buoyant force okay so this phenomena this concept is known as a buoyancy okay so the force which will produce the buoyant force okay so that concept is known as a buoyancy okay so the next one is this buoyant force is not only exerted by liquids uh, as well as by the gases okay so the uh, this buoyant force is produced by not only the liquids also by the gases okay so the liquids and the gases together is called as fluids okay so fluids means it includes liquid and the gases okay so this upward force this upward force only decides whether an object will sink or float okay so this upward force means buoyant to force okay so that buoyant force only decides whether an object will float or sink okay if the weight of the object is less that means the weight of the any material or any object is less at the time the upward force is uh, greater one okay then the object will float okay so the uh, weight of the object is less means uh, then the object will float okay then uh, if not it will sink okay uh, weight of the object is greater means means it will sink in the water okay next a body floats if the buoyant force here the body means it's refers to the any material or object okay so a body floats when the buoyant force is greater than that of its weight okay so buoyant force is greater means the body will float okay or otherwise a body will sink when its um, weight of the object or body is greater okay so which means here the buoyant force is less Yes, okay so buoyant force is less means the body will um, um, always sink okay 
So the next one is what means a pressure exerted by the liquids. Okay. So the uh, first one is the liquids do not have a definite shape. Okay. So there is no any shape for liquids. Okay. The force acting on unit area of the surface on which the liquid is placed is called the static pressure of the liquid. Okay. The force which is acting on unit surface area on which the liquid is placed. On which the liquid is placed means uh, where the liquid is kept in the vessel or any container okay so that is referred to as the static pressure of the liquid okay static means it's in the rest condition okay free condition uh, liquid exert a pressure not only on the base of the container or any vessel but also on its side of the wall okay so uh, the pressure which is exerted by the liquid not only not only uh, depends on the base of the container or any vessel okay so it also depends on the side of the walls of the container or any vessel okay so the pressure exerted by the liquids which is depend upon them depend on the depth of the point observe uh, depth of the point of observation considered in it okay which means it refers to the base point okay Next one is on instruments which is used to measure the difference in the liquid pressure. Okay, so there is here some difference in the liquid pressure. Okay, so that is uh, measured by the device called manometer. Okay, uh, the pressure is measured by the device called barometer. Okay, so the differences in the liquid pressure which is measured by the device called manometer. Okay, you can measure the pressure of fluids. Okay, so fluids means it includes the liquid and the gases. Okay, which which is enclosed in a definite container using the manometer okay so the first one is a pressure exerted by a liquid on the base of a container depends on the height of the liquid column okay so the pressure which is exerted by a liquid on the base of the container will depends on the height of the liquid column which liquid column mercury liquid column or water liquid column okay then the second one is already we know that the atmospheric pressure is measured in terms of the height of the mercury column in a barometer okay so the atmospheric pressure is measured by the device called barometer in the um, in the barometer the liquid which is present is called mercury okay so it will uh, measured by the uh, measured in terms of the height of the mercury column which is present in a barometer okay then the um, second one is a liquid exert the same pressure in all directions at a given depth okay so at a given depth the pressure is the liquid exert the same pressure in all directions of the container okay in all direction of the container or vessel okay then the third one is liquid pressures varies with the depth okay so according to the depth the liquid pressure is changed okay or varied okay students thank you